there guys, my name is Coast Shell, YouTube channel Dogster Bomb, but built for theme park news, and welcome to a Coast Shell review. Today we're gonna to be looking at the monorail at Alton Towers. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, why are you reviewing the monorail? Well, I want to sort of give you an idea because I think people that have not really experienced the monorail at Alton Towers yet would love to know a bit of history about the monorail and also my thoughts on the monorail and why it's such a good piece of equipment to get to the park. And um, also there's obviously been a lot of talk over the next, last few years about, you know, should the monorail get some kind of big refurbishment over a season. Um, so we're going to be discussing all about that as well. And just share my thoughts on it really. I thought this is the perfect time to share my thoughts on it. So for, before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers and we're nearly at 490,000 views in total, which is nearly half a million, which is unbelievable. So keep watching over the old videos, keep watching these ones because we're getting closer and closer to the half a million milestone views in total. And uh, go across to the community page because poll four is out now. So you can go and vote and put some extra comments in uh, for poll four. The deadline is 23.59 p.m. on Friday on a 24-hour clock, but of course it is 59 minutes past 11 at night on Friday for a normal 12-hour clock. And of course, I put recently out on the, well, I put in recent times out on the community page. You can now watch the videos on Instagram TV. You can go and follow my Instagram at Aaron Chandler Official, the link's in the description, and you can go and watch the videos over on IGTV, which is uh, amazing, of course. And for now, we're going to get straight into this, and we're going to get kick-started and talk about the monorail. So before I share my thoughts on it, let's share some history on this particular bit of transportation. So the manufacturer is VRH, Allot and Lomax and CWA. It was built on the 13th of August 1987, rethemed in 2008 and it originally cost £15 million. Now it has a length of 3,200 metres, a max height of 9 metres, a max speed of 27 kilometres an hour, 96 passengers per train on 8 trains with a capacity of 4,800 riders per hour and a duration of 4 minutes. So the monorail was installed back in 1987, a year after Tower Street was constructed. The car parks were originally located just outside the main entrance where Tower Street is today, but a new car park built in 1986 was almost a mile away. In the season before the monorail opened, guests therefore had the choice of taking a free bus or walking the distance. During the height of the visitor season, each of the 40 metre long trains may have to carry up 4,800 people per hour up to that along the site's 3.2 kilometres of monorail track. Each of the trains were originally imported from Canada and powered by eight 2.3 kW electric motors. Up until 2001, the system was controlled by analog converters, which had been reliable for a long time, but nothing lasts forever and they started to suffer breakdowns. In 2002, the old analog converter was replaced with the latest digital drive technology, the ABB's DCS500, which gave the monorail more accurate torque and speed control, a torque and speed control, offering better reliability. In fact, Oblivion uses the same ABB manufactured system. Fun fact for you there. To the, during the 2008 season, the monorail said goodbye to the grey trains it had operated with since the opening, and one by one, the entire fleet was rethemed around different aspects of Alton Towers, including much more colour to the parts transportation system. In the years since then, the Daisy train was removed, um, but there were still other types of trains. Uh, there was a Splash Landings one. There was a Mutiny Bay one, there was a Fireworks one, there was a Jelly Bean one that still operate to this particular day. So there we go, that is the monorail. A uh, bit of thoughts and a bit of facts on the monorail uh, on there as well. £50 million is pretty good for a, for a pretty big for a monorail service. And, um, you know, I think the monorail is a historic attraction. It's been here. It was here. It was opened seven years after the park opened, firstly, and uh, a year after Tower Street was constructed. And, you know, this gave a little more transportation. Obviously, you guys will know specific parts of the monorail. The soundtrack in the station 
unbelievable. It's revolutionized. It's evolutionized during its time. Uh, there was a monorail video with the, the Yorkshire Cross, the Spa, what are they called? Sparrows. Uh, yeah, Cross. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that was in 2003. Um, you know, that video, there was a video the year before that with the, the juggler, you know, with the Alton Towers balls, mystical magic balls, uh, in the year that Jewel Haunted House Strike back opened. So, uh, very good that, uh, well, no, not that. <laughs> that was the year that Air opened, sorry. It was 2003 that Jewel opened, because uh, that was the year of the, the Crow one. And, you know, obviously there was an uh, improved video in 2012 with an improved soundtrack for the monorail. And, you know, overall, it is an amazing system. I mean, I would like to see it get refurbished again now. I mean, in the next few years, I'd like to see maybe the monorail closed for a year. And I'd like to see some kind of massive major refurbishment take place on the ride. Uh, well, I wouldn't even call it a ride, I'd call it a transportation system. I'd like to see something major done with it over a year period. So again, new trains, maybe some, maybe someone comes in and retracks the monorail to make it new track, new supports, um, new trains, uh, a new queue video, keep updating it every year, new soundtrack for the station, maybe refurbish the stations as well. Uh, just a full year-long refurbishment of the monorail would be fantastic and then they can do what they did back in the day and offer a free bus service from the car park to um, you know where the towers is and, and up there shall we say uh, or some kind of shuttle bus service and um, you know like, like what well, they do now well what they, I think they, they do the bus service they've got the they've got the bus service from the train stations up until Alton Towers but like a bus service from the car park over to the entrance, sort of where um, the monorail would have taken you. Um, that would be nice to have that refurbished addition um, while the monorail gets worked on for an entire year. So I would like that personally. Um, I'd like to see that happen. I'd like to see a year long refurbishment of the monorail, new track, new train, new supports, just completely refurbished experience really. And um, you know, take away like the the blurry windows, you know, out of the old trains because they just they're just really blurry. But overall, as an experience, it was fantastic. I've lived through about two or three different monorail systems. I've lived through the old grey trains. I've been on the old grey trains. I remember the old grey trains because they were retro and brilliant. Um, I remember the old. Um, I remember the 2012 video. I remember the new trains in 2008. I remember. All the different things that have happened from about 2005 right up until present day. I've experienced the monorail in three or four different refurbished systems. Um, so I got to experience the old motor system and the new and the newer ABB system, manufactured system that Oblivion uses, funnily enough. Um, so I've experienced the two different motors on the monorail, which, you know, it, it says a lot about how I've experienced Alton Towers and how long I've experienced the park. But uh, um, I remember the old monorail like it was yesterday, you know, the, the retro grey trains and the old analogue system. It was it was just brilliant. It was just so retro and so amazing. And uh, then when the new system came in, I enjoyed it just as much as the old one. So, um, you know, the monorail always sticks in my mind as a as a very very much a memory based attraction. It'll always stay in my mind. And, uh, you know, I'd like to see a massive refurbishment take place now on this ride. So thank you very much, guys, for watching my review of the monorail at Alton Towers. Uh, we've got loads of these Alton Towers reviews that's getting pre-recorded over the last, next few days for you guys here on the channel. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living on the coast alive. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Cut the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, have a nice day, guys. Thank you.